Hello, and welcome to What's Bubbling a Zimbi. I am Dr. Abstract, and in this bubbling, we're going to take a look at the new pull down parameter for the Zim list. This is new in Zim 10.5.0. Well, let's go have a look. We'll go to the Zim site at zimjs.com, and we just happen to have an ad up in the marquee. We took a look at a marquee, or the marquee, in the last uh, What's Bubbling. So here uh, we are going to hit the pull down. And here's the pull down on the right hand side. Check it out. Look at that, as well as some list components that we've added to it. Roop, roop. So this is a modified list with no backing, or you can't see the backdrop there, and uh, you can't see the border either. We turn those off so that it can expand open like this. We've added a few of these for a slider and a checkbox. There's also a color picker one, and who knows, in the future we could add a few more little handy uh, list items uh, for component, component list items. These control the bike, so we can use this, the slider here, but if we're swiping, there's a normal swipe, and then if we set up the, the sensitivity, it really swipes fast, and if we bring it right down, oh, then it swipes slowly. And if we're animating, there it is animating at a certain speed, and we can increase that speed or decrease that speed and hit it in reverse. Cool, huh? So let's go in and see how we made that thing. Ah, stop it. Hmm, some code. Uh, how else can we find this? We can find it in the docs. So here are the docs on the list right here. And here's the new parameter. It's after a checkbox parameter. It's called a pull down parameter right there. And there's a bit of information about it here. A pull down along with the link to it. So this is all in the list documentation. There's also uh, information on the parameter here, like so, as well as in the methods. Here are those component list items, some information about it here. And then there's the list slider, the list checkbox, and the list color picker that you can then insert into a list quite easily. There's also a thing called a checkbox, which is a list check item. And that was done before for the checkbox parameter. And that was done a little while ago. I'm not sure we did a bubbling on that. Probably not, I don't recall. So there's the checkbox parameter just before the pull down parameter. And we should have a take a take a, we should have a take a look at that. Um, that would be this guy right here. This is if you want your whole list to turn into checkboxes. This can be handy because you can, it's like a multiple select. I want these guys. And then you can hit a go button or something like that. So it's the way to turn a list into a multiple select with items. These are also available on the 10 site. So this is the 10 site. Any new things we're, we're putting up in the 10 site here, including the pull down and the marquee and a variety of other things. You can get to the 10 site by clicking Zim 10. It's one way or by pressing the 10 right here. You can also get to these by looking into the docs and then hitting the updates. Anything new is always found in the updates and then that takes you into the update talking about the CDN change. Here's the marquee, we did that in the last bubbling. Here's the list pull down improvement along with the link and list items. Uh, we'll show you a little bit about that. Let's uh, let, yeah, let's go into the code now and do it. But those are the ways that you can find out uh, what's bubbling or what's happening in Zim is that kind of stuff. So we're now going to see how we made this pull down right here. And we can do that by getting out of here and coming into some code. Woohoo! So we're in the list pull down, and we brought in the new Zim CDN links here, ZimJS in 10.5.0 and the CDN of ZimJS.org, as well as the new CreateJS. And then we're coming down here, we've loaded in the bike asset, which is a sprite. We've got a backing that we're going to use to scroll on, or what's that, swipe on, so a swipe backing. There's the bike itself, here's the slider, when we change it, we're setting the bike's frame to a different current value. We also make a dynamo, and that will handle 
animating the sprite at different speeds. So we've thrown the bike into a dynamo. There's the swiper and the sensitivity and we've got a set of tabs uh, and what the tabs are doing are changing between range, swipe and animate. As we change those we're doing different things here. If it's range we make this stuff happen. If it's swipe we make that stuff happen. And If it's not then it's the uh, scroll bar. So we make that stuff happen. Or the slider. Okay, so what about the list though? Um, uh, these are the functions that the list calls to adjust the sensitivity, the frames per second, and whether it's checked. So we'll come back to that, but those are the functions that will be called. Here we are preparing the list, and the list is using a hierarchy. So this is a Zim hierarchy format, uh, a certain way to do a um, hierarchical list, ones with nested, a nested list. And then in that nested list, we are passing, these are the new things. There's an array, so drag and swipe only hold one thing, but you put that one thing in an array. Animate holds two things. Shall we add the color picker as well? And these are running those sliders, checkbox, and color picker directly on the list. So that's called, it's called um, a static, uh, static method. So it's right on the list itself, like math.random is right on the math class. Here we've got slider right on the list. And we can pass in the parameters as it says in the docs. And what we're doing, basically this is the text, min, max, a starting value, and what function to call when that slider changes the frames per second. And there's the check, and here's the sensitivity. Now do you see them? Here they are. Right there, the sensitivity frames per second and checked. We don't have a function for the color picker. We're not doing anything with it, but I'll show you what the color picker looks like. So we save that, open in a browser. And now when we open the controls, we can start with the controls open too. There's the color picker, and what that does is it pops up a, a color picker thing here that you can change a color on and say, okay, and that changed the color. But we haven't connected it to any color change here, which we could do. We could apply a color uh, transformation to this, a filter to that. So that's what that looks like. Cool, huh? Uh, for years, we've been seeing the dat GUI. Dat GUI is a way in HTML that if you're, say, using processing or something like that, that GUI is their little expandable controls uh, that come out from the top. Uh, this, by the way, can put have a bar put on it. Shall we see the bar? Hey, let me out of here. Oh, desktop reveal. Slight desktop reveal. Okay, uh, bar. Do we have the bar thing set up here? Well, yeah, actually, this was just the data for the list. So that's preparing the list data. The pull down itself is here, so a new list, and we pass in uh, a hierarchy object. Normally, that can just be the list like that, but we have a few other things that we can experiment, so that would work just fine. But if we want to tell it some more information, like whether we want to start open or not, the default is false, but here's what it would look like if we start open and refresh there. So there it is, starting open once again. And also whether we're wanting to bloom or not bloom. So if we set these to false, which is the default, those are false. Then it just starts open like this. And when we close it, it just closes, open, close. So you may like that better, where all of the things just happen immediately versus when they bloom and wither. <laughs> Cute, huh? Uh, but this isn't really the pull down issue. This is more, uh, this has already been available via the accordion, that kind of information. So that's, uh, that's accordion stuff. And then here it is, pull down true. So that's what turns it into a pull down. If we didn't do that, I'm not actually sure what this looks like. Let's try it. It took on a certain size, so it didn't calculate this. So what the pull down is doing is it's calculating the size needed to to work. It didn't take on the certain size, and therefore you have to um, use the scroll bar here. 
also the backdrop color is there so you, you you can see that it's got a backdrop color and that means this size is sort of stuck being gray or that's one of the things with the list is you were sort of stuck with uh, the rectangle of the size of the list even if you collapsed it to being small it would it would collapse like this oops i've uncollapsed there and you've, you're left with this color in the background and so it sort of snaps to there but you're you're left with that so that was a little bit annoying and that's why we introduced the pull down where you can not have that stuff there you can <laughs> have it pull down <coughs> oh it's so exciting oh yes so there we go uh, we'll turn that back into a pull down and we see the difference <coughs> there we go having it opened up and now when we collapse there's no backdrop color in behind there so it can collapse just to this thing here's what it would look like if we put a, a title bar on there and uh, you can work with it in different ways the title bar and we refresh here and there's the title bar that allows you to start dragging this thing around now uh, the one slight drawback and it's no big deal is you're left with the title bar and this first one here so it's not like a plus right here on the title bar and all you see is the title bar and drag the title bar around but i think that's good enough for now i mean it is possible we could try and work something out so that doesn't happen but i don't know if it's worth it so uh there you go you can just make the title bar really thin and put a little icon of a drag thing on it and then, and then i'm sure it'll be fine okay neat huh so that is the pull down parameter, like so. And I can put those there. Anything else in there? No, I guess that's it uh, pretty well. Oh, one of the things about this code, by the way, if you want to look a little bit more into it, is it was, it was, uh, where is it written here? Uh, forked or lightly forked. I mean, the idea was forked from Massimo's code pen. Thing. and Zim is 49% that so and it's much more readable I think plus we get to use a dynamo so you can look at the Zim code it's half as half as long as the HTML CSS and JavaScript code to basically do the same thing so uh, you can go find that link we do have a version of this too on github so you can come in to or not github uh code pen uh, come on into github too give us a star but you can come on into code pen and see this thing operate uh there as well and compare it to massimo as well heck? we'll just take a look right now so this is the dat gui which uh is here so that's their dat gui and it has a close controls open it uh, controls that sort of like what we don't quite have but whatever like i said it's probably fine and then here is the the procedure here we found that for the dragging i'm i'm adjusting the sensitivity on the drag and all of a sudden it's not working or something like that yeah it's it, i adjusted it and then it started dragging when i wasn't even i didn't have the mouse down i can't remember how i got it you know, can select these things anyway there was some glitches uh go, yeah there look i'm not even pressing down and it's it's dragging it's like it's stuck on on the thing but anyway this code over here is uh twice as long as the code used in Zen. So that's good. And that's how it's consistently been. It's well, it's often 60%, 60, 64%. Anything that we've compared, we've compared processing, like we redo a processing thing in, in Zim, we re, redo some CreateJS stuff in Zim, we redo, uh, you know, this is JavaScript, any CSS animations we redo in Zim, they're all like 60% the original size. So we've got a good thing going here in Zim. I hope you uh, help us get it out to the masses. That has been uh, What's Bubbling at Zim. I am Dr. Abstract. And uh, if you haven't joined us on Slack yet, come on in. Zimjs.com slash Slack. And hang out with us. Ask any questions you want. Show some examples. See some examples. Uh, we'd love to see you there. Ciao.